What's going on, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This here is Deer Meat for Dinner. That's my wife, Sarah, dear mom. This is my buddy, Mike Shramko, and his gorgeous little daughter, Lauren. He's been asking me to do a sand flea or a mole crab video for literally a couple years. It's a public beach. They haven't dredged the sand here in so long that everything's getting back to its natural state, and there is no shortage of sand fleas here. I'm excited. We are looking for soft shell sand fleas, and the name just kind of geeks me out because a flea, I mean, bleh. but he said they're really good. I'm willing to try it. I think they're awesome. Yep. It's really fun. How do you like to cook them? I like to cook them pan fried with rice. Yeah. I've been using sand fleas as bait for years and years and years. Pompano loved them. Uh, sheep's had really loved them. Even little snappers like them. So goggle eyes like them, goggle eyes like them. So uh, we're going to get after it. like a little hair, they kind of go There's a little hair. How was that? There's a little hair, that, what those are, that's his hands, and those are grabbing all the little plankton and all the food. Are some of these too big? These like, right here are little candies. That's that's what we want. That size. I bet you can feed but some of these. If you feed, feel them with your hand when you're selecting them, if they feel hard, just throw them out. You can use them for bait. But I am not kidding you. I get goosebumps on these. Like touching these things, I. Once perfect. you eat them, you'll never get goosebumps again because really all you're gonna want to do is come up here and eat these. These crabs live in the sand. They filter the water. And a lot of times you can find them simply by looking when the waves come up and as they go back, they stick their little filter feeder, little antennas up. They filter out any of the plankton, any of the food out of the water, but it also allows you to see them. You can also notice them by looking for birds. The little sandpipers that sort of run up with the water and run back with the water, they're feeding on baby mole crabs. See those little sandpipers? This is what they're here eating. Until today, I never knew that sandpipers ate sand fleas. Now we're going to throw a big one. Watch what happens. He's like, I'm out of here, dude. I'm taking that thing home. That's called a calico crab. When the fish cruise the beach, like permit, tarpon, cobia, that's what they're really after. Uh, over on the west coast of Florida, they call them pass crabs, and they swim like a blue crab, but they're just much smaller. Some people call them leopard crab. Yeah, leopard crab, pass crab, calico crab. Either way, let them bite your friend! <laughs> Just like this. Watch this. See that? These are the big ones. We don't want them. This little guy right here. That's what we're looking for. See the difference? The big one versus the little one. Whoa! The little guy's fast as lightning. This big one is a breeder. He's a hard shell. Now granted, there's billions of them on this beach. We don't need him. This little guy is what we want. He's soft and he's delicious. Look at those beauties. We literally just caught the largest sand flea I've ever seen in my entire life. The thing looked like a turtle and a sand flea had babies. That, my friends, is the single biggest sand flea any of us have ever seen. That thing, it almost looks like a totally different species. Right back down into the sand. Look 
at that. Look how many there are. Now just watch them on the ground. Watch how they disappear. Right into the sand. Now watch, watch when it goes away. See, they're following it down and they're gonna go down exactly where they wanna be, crawl into the sand and it's done. That's their escape mechanism. Crawl right into the sand. The sand will shelter them, give them protection, but it also gives them structure to hang on to. As the water washes the sand away, they can dig down a little deeper just so that their little hairs, their little antennas can start filtering out that water and feeding on the nutrients that's in the water. They kind of go Meow. Soft ones come right to the top. Still have a lot in there. I have no idea what that is. It's got to be just a granddaddy of all granddaddy mole crabs. That's what we're after. That's a soft shell mole crab. Watch what they do. Just like a mole, he burrowed right down in there. He's right here. Now, thing is, I'm a hunter, but I'm also a conservationist. I don't want to take this guy and put him in some tank somewhere. So I'm going to let him go exactly where we caught him. Watch this. Okay, buddy. Time to go home. There you go. That was awesome, Mike. All right, you guys. So we have caught an absolute boatload of little baby soft shell sand fleas. This is Lauren, this is Mike Shramko. They are just an awesome family. He does so much with her, whether it's fishing or snorkeling or crabbing or whatever. They've got a YouTube channel that they're just starting out. It's called Real Cool Adventures. What they need, they need inspiration from y'all. What do y'all want to see them do? It could be crazy, I mean, you name it, they'll do it. So go check them out. All right, you guys. We're at the Loxahatchee River Center now, and one of the main reasons I'm here, I wanna see if they know what that is. These are sand fleas, or mole crabs. I wanna see what that is, and then we're gonna feed the fish. All right, you guys, so this is the Loxahatchee River Center. They've actually got a field trip going on right here. And this tank represents a coral reef. Now you typically would never see a mole crab or a sand flea in a coral tank, like on a coral reef. Let's see if they eat it. Let's see if we can break it up. I just fed these fish in the reef aquarium and they've never seen a sand flea before. So they, they like, eh. But this guy right here, that's a pompano. He naturally eats them because he lives in that area. Let's see if he recognizes them. Ooh, nailed it. Let's see if he can eat this big one. Nom, nom, nom. So how cool was that? People think that fish just eat anything, but they're accustomed to eating certain things. When I put it in here, they didn't know what to do with it. When I put it in here, that pompano immediately ate it. You know what that means? Don't use sand fleas out on the reef for bait. If you're fishing for pompano, sand fleas will be great bait. Now, let's go to the house, cook them up, and see how they taste. Whammy. Here we are, you guys. We are in the kitchen and we have ourselves a bowl full of little baby soft shell mole crabs, AKA sand fleas. Now, we stopped by the River Center, talked to everybody in there, and none of them had a clue what that thing was. So on the way home, I called my buddy Matt Bud, Rocky Lawson, and a couple other guys that catch them constantly. And all of them said, that is a one in a million catch. 
None of them have ever seen more than one and they do it all the time. Went on Google, started researching all over and found out that it is a very, very, very rare form of mole crab. So we caught a one in a million crab. Luckily we turned them loose and uh, super stoked. A lot of them actually believe that that crab eats the soft shell mole crabs. So who knows? All I know, we're about to cook. But before I cook, I want to tell everybody, as you know, we're rebuilding our condo where we started deer meat for dinner. It's beautiful. I mean beautiful, right on the water. And we're gonna give away a hunting trip, a fishing trip. We're gonna do all kinds of cool stuff. My partners at Bowtech, Excalibur, and Diamond Archer helped me put this on. If you go to DeerMeatForDinner.com, it's free to enter. You and a friend are gonna get to come down. We're also gonna give you $500 spending cash and uh, you're gonna have a great time with me. We're gonna make a really cool video and the, the trip will be sometime in January. Literally, all expense paid, including airfare. So go to DeerMeatForDinner.com, check it out. But for now, let's cook some soft shell sand fleas. Put them right in that bowl there. And if you wonder, I don't have a tripod and I don't have a cameraman. So I'm gonna be doing all this on my own. Gonna squeeze some lemon on them. Um, the reason I'm squeezing lemon on them is just in case they have any uh, bacteria, anything like that on them, I don't want it to get in my fresh crab. Uh, we're gonna add a little bit of Everglades, a little bit of salt, then we're gonna stir it all up. We're gonna make a white wine lemon butter sauce using this, it's one of my favorites, it's called Kerrygold Garlic Herb Butter. Ooh, yeah. Then we will take some of our lemon, put some of that lemon in there. Next up, we're gonna put this butter right in there. Now we'll take that butter let that start coming to life. Now that's that beautiful silky look that we're looking for. Good deal. This is all new to me. See them crabs? Throw them in the pot. And let them just start slowly coming to life. Now they look absolutely Perfect. I wasn't sure what to really expect, but it looks great. All right, let's try to do this left-handed without spilling any. Come on, so close. Instead of destroying the kitchen, I'm gonna set the camera down. There they are. Never done it before. I'm about to. <laughs> I'm nervous. That's unique. Just eat the whole thing. That's a little bit bigger one. Crunchy, salty. Such a hard flavor to describe. Tastes almost like shrimp scampi. Mm. The garlic butter makes it awesome. They're like so full of flavor. But hey, that is so incredibly unique. What do you guys think about it? Would you want to go do that? Would you want to go catch a whole bunch of sand fleas, cook them up, make some kind of epic meal? If you want to see me do it again, drop a thumbs up. But that's all I got for you today. Take care. God bless. I hope you win the trip down to the condo so I can meet you in person. But for now, we go.